Thanks. Now to a video clip that's become the talk of the internet. It's taken from Friday's Miss Teen USA pageant, and it shows a very nervous Miss South Carolina having a very tough time in the question and answer part of the program. Take a look. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is? I personally believe that U.S. Americans are unable to do so because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps and uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as, and I believe that they should, uh, our education over here in the U.S. should help the U.S. Um, or should help South Africa and should help the Iraq and the Asian countries so we will be able to build up our future. Miss South Carolina, Caitlin Upton, good morning. Good morning. You get so nervous about this, but let me tell you something. You have no idea what this man says on a regular <laughs> basis on this live program. That's nothing. Can we also, yeah. that's the first time you've seen that, isn't it? Um, yes, actually, that is the first time I have seen that, and I'm nervous. Just sitting here uh, right now, left national television uh, again. I know. And, and it was the first time, actually, you had been on national uh, television. Yes, and here you were competing, time. and it was, it was just one of those moments when you were asked this question. I'm sure everything came at you at once. Yes, everything did come at me at once. Um, I was overwhelmed, and I made a mistake. Everybody makes a mistake. I'm human. <laughs> at, at what point, Caitlin, during the answer, did you start to think to yourself, is this making any sense? Um, right when that question was asked to me, I was in complete shock. And I was just overwhelmed that I seriously think I only heard about one or two words of the actual question itself. And you just I kind of drew a blank? Yes, I drew a blank. I misunderstood. I made a mistake. It, you know, as, as we've said, you know, we do live television every day. Caitlin, if, I can't even count the number of times I've said things. And then we've all gone to commercial break and we looked at each other like, what, <laughs> what? did you just say? I mean, so please, you know, don't, don't let it get you down. I mean, and I know the fact that it's on YouTube and a lot of people are watching it right now probably has to be a double-edged sword. On the one hand, you think it's kind of funny. On the other hand, it's not all that funny to you, is it? Um, no, but then again, looking back on it, I am sitting here laughing at myself because I feel like, is, is that really me standing up there answering that <laughs> it's question? It's an out-of-body experience. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm not in my actual body. Um, I give you a lot of credit for being here. You know, uh, you could just go under the covers, but here you are sitting here to laugh at yourself. So you know what I say? Good girl. <laughs> Good girl you. Um, yes, definitely. Mm. You, still, you still finished, what, in the top four? Yes, I actually placed third runner-up. And so, and, and have you allowed yourself to go back and think, what if I had done a little better on that question, how the outcome might have been different? For example, do you want to redo on that question? I would love to re-answer that question. Okay, so okay. let me ask you that question again. The question is, recent polls have shown that a fifth of Americans can't locate the U.S. on a world map. Why do you think this is, Caitlin? Well, personally, my friends and I, we know exactly where the United States is on our map. I don't know anyone else who doesn't, and if the statistics are correct, I believe that there should be more emphasis on geography and our education so people will learn how to read maps better. Yay! I've got to tell you, that was the go, perfect Taylor. answer. You know, I think they should just do the thing over on Friday. Come on, let's go back to Friday night. Let's <laughs> yeah, give her let's another shot at it. let's go back in time and redo everything. Talk to me. <laughs> girl, you're just 18 years old. Yes, I am 18, and I've I believe that I'm a very strong person. I have a strong character, and my parents raised me very well. What are, you, what are your plans? What do you want to do? I mean, you know, in terms of after that pageant, what are your goals? Well, my goal is to attend Appalachian State University, major in graphic design. Once graduate from there, go to LA and go into the International Academy of Design and Technology, ma major in special effects, learning to design special effects for movies and television. Mm. Good for you. You well, go. You've got a lot of grit. Thank Caitlin, you. Caitlin, good luck to you and thank everything. Thank you so much. And, and thank you for being big enough to laugh at yourself this morning. It's hard. Thank you. I know. <laughs> Believe me, because I have.